Before Tyrannosaurus rex claimed its throne as the most feared predator in North America, another monster ruled the prehistoric plains. About 78 million years ago, a beast almost as terrifying as the famous T-Rex dominated the landscape. This creature was called Daspultosaurus, literally the frightful lizard, and for good reason. When the first Daspultosaurus fossil was discovered, scientists were blown away. Unlike many dinosaur finds that are just fragments, this one was incredible, a complete skull with over half the skeleton intact. Right away, they could tell this was something special, but they actually misclassified it for about 50 years, thinking it was just another species of a dinosaur called Gorgosaurus. It wasn't until someone took a closer look that they realized this animal was much bulkier, with a wider skull and denser bones. This wasn't just any dinosaur, this was something unique. They named it Daspultosaurus taurosus, with taurosus meaning muscular, a perfect description for this tank-like predator. What's really interesting is how similar Daspultosaurus was to T-Rex. They were so alike that some scientists have even tried to reclassify it as a type of Tyrannosaurus. It's actually easier to list what made them different than what made them similar. Daspultosaurus was a bit smaller, had slightly longer arms, smaller feet, and a more noticeable crest above its eyes. Their brain shapes were different too, but both had unusual features not seen in other similar dinosaurs, like tall eye sockets and expanded air pockets in their skulls. The timing is what really gets scientists excited. Daspultosaurus lived between 78 and 74.4 million years ago, while T-Rex showed up just 1.7 million years after that. This close timing, combined with their similarities, has led to a really interesting question. Was Daspultosaurus the direct ancestor of T-Rex? Some researchers think yes. After discovering two more species of Daspultosaurus, called Wilsoni and Horneri, they noticed a pattern. It seemed like over time, these dinosaurs were evolving to become more and more like T-Rex. One scientific paper even concluded that through a process called anagenesis, where one species gradually transforms into another, the Daspultosaurus family eventually evolved into Tyrannosaurus. Not everyone agrees with this idea though. Some argue that without DNA, it's nearly impossible to prove direct ancestry. And even though 1.7 million years sounds small in the grand scheme of things, it's still plenty of time for other changes or species to develop. A recently found tooth supports this doubt, it looks remarkably like T-Rex teeth, but dates back to 77 million years ago, the same time Daspultosaurus was around. This suggests other T-Rex-like dinosaurs might have been living at the same time. Even those who don't think Daspultosaurus directly evolved into T-Rex still agree they were extremely closely related. Most recent family trees place Daspultosaurus as the North American dinosaur most closely related to the Tyrannosaurus genus, second only to T-Rex's sister species, T. batar. So how big was this monster? An average adult Daspultosaurus measured between 28 and 30 feet long and stood about 7 feet tall at the hip. They were incredibly heavy for their size, weighing up to 3 tons thanks to their robust build. But some got much bigger. The largest specimen ever found, nicknamed Pete 3, was about 36 feet long and weighed a mind-blowing 5.5 tons. This made it the second largest tyrannosaur in North America and the biggest predator on the continent during its time. Like its famous relative, Daspultosaurus had a massive skull, most were over 3 feet long. These weren't just big, they were built like tanks. The bones were unusually heavy and thick, with the nasal bones on top of the snout fused together for maximum strength. Their mouths contained more than 70 teeth that were extremely long, pointed, and oval in cross-section. This oval shape made the teeth stronger at the base, allowing them to withstand tremendous pressure when biting down. Studies suggest Daspultosaurus had the second strongest bite force in its entire family, right behind T-Rex. It had the second largest jaw muscles and the third greatest skull stress resistance. All this created a bite powerful enough to crush armor and literally make bones explode on impact. Scientists believe it hunted similar to T-Rex, using a puncture and pull method, biting down with extreme force to grip a victim, then pulling backward to tear away massive chunks of muscle, organs, and bone all at once. Based on where Daspultosaurus lived and what animals were found alongside it, researchers think its diet mainly consisted of large horned dinosaurs like ceratopsids, duck-billed hadrosaurs, and heavily armored ankylosaurs. But really, anything it caught was fair game. One mature specimen was found with a stomach full of partially digested remains of young, small hadrosaurs. Despite its fearsome jaws, Daspultosaurus did have one weakness, speed. Its tank-like build meant it wasn't the fastest dinosaur around. 
it probably relied on surprise attacks to catch prey off guard. The upside to this bulk was durability, armored herbivores that most predators couldn't handle were viable targets for Daspultosaurus. It also had other tools to make up for its lack of speed. Ironically, one advantage was its arms. While Tyrannosaurs are famous for their tiny arms, Daspultosaurus actually had the longest forelimbs of any Tyrannosaur relative to its body size, up to 3 feet long. They were deceptively strong for their size, with thick bones and lots of muscle attachment points, possibly allowing them to catch and hold struggling prey. Its tail was another asset, remarkably heavy and powerful, providing amazing balance that proved invaluable when fighting with large herbivores. It also had special sensory organs, similar to what crocodiles have today, in the form of large plates on its snout. These might have helped it modulate precise jaw movements, sense temperatures, and detect prey, while also providing additional armor to its face. Perhaps the most frightening aspect of Daspultosaurus wasn't its individual features but how it might have hunted. Over the years, specimens have been found next to each other in groups, suggesting they might have been social. The most notable discovery was a cluster of three individuals of different ages and sizes found next to five hadrosaurs. Studies of the sediment and bones concluded that all three died at the same time while feeding on the dead hadrosaurs. Since there were age gaps present, some paleontologists believe this represented a family pack. This would make sense, as other closely related tyrannosaurs like Gorgosaurus and Albertosaurus are also known to have sometimes grouped together. These family-based packs would have been a nightmare for prey, younger, faster members could chase and disrupt herbivores while the older, larger ones came in for the kill. Young Daspultosaurus had an interesting growth pattern too. Analysis of bone growth shows that juveniles didn't grow much during their first five years, but then underwent rapid weight gain and size increase for about 15 years after that. While the evidence for family groups is compelling, another theory suggests they might have operated more like Komodo dragons. Non-cooperative individuals would mob prey and carcasses, leading to chaotic feeding frenzies and frequent conflicts among themselves. Supporting this view is evidence that Daspultosaurus was pretty rough with its own kind. A unique trend shows that biting each other's faces was their preferred method of fighting and extremely common. Numerous specimens have dozens of bite marks on their skulls, often deep enough to leave permanent grooves. This ill-tempered dinosaur is one of the few known to carry out both non-fatal and fatal attacks on its own species, as sometimes the bite marks never fully healed, implying death. The most common reasons thought to be behind this violence are territorial disputes, fights over resources, or battles for dominance within social groups. Hunger appears to have been a trigger too. One Daspultosaurus skull found in Alberta, Canada had bite marks that had healed, but also ones with no signs of healing or inflammation, strongly suggesting they were made after death by another Daspultosaurus scavenging the carcass. This provides the first evidence that this carnivore sometimes resorted to cannibalism. Why would it turn on its own kind? The answer might lie in its environment, which experienced periodic droughts and natural disasters resulting in mass deaths and chaotic conditions, potentially forcing Daspultosaurus to eat their own. Another explanation is that if they did mob prey and carcasses, during the feeding frenzy an unlucky individual might have gotten caught up and become a snack itself. Daspultosaurus wasn't the only apex predator in its ecosystem. It's one of the few examples of a tyrannosaur that lived alongside another large tyrannosaur, in this case, Gorgosaurus. Back in the late Cretaceous, North America was divided in two by a massive inland sea called the Western Interior Seaway. This created two island continents, Laramidia to the west and Appalachia to the east. Daspultosaurus lived in Laramidia, where it shared territory with Gorgosaurus in at least three different geological formations. Like Daspultosaurus, Gorgosaurus was a large predator, up to 30 feet long with a giant skull and ferocious bite. It was probably the only animal that could threaten Daspultosaurus. But our frightful lizard had an advantage, its signature tankiness. While the two looked similar from the side, from the front you'd clearly see that Daspultosaurus was much bulkier, giving it a stronger body, more powerful bite, and heavier weight. Gorgosaurus maxed out at about 3 tons, so adult Daspultosaurus likely dominated, though Gorgosaurus had the advantage of speed with its lighter skeleton and nimbler legs. While conflicts between these two predators surely happened occasionally, their differences actually allowed them to coexist by developing different ecological niches. Gorgosaurus likely hunted faster, smaller prey, while Daspultosaurus preferred slower, better armored giants. This might explain why they seem to have had separate territories, with Daspultosaurus being more common in the south while Gorgosaurus ruled the north. The environment they lived in was incredibly rich. 
The Rocky Mountains made up a good chunk of Laramidia, forming many large rivers that ran from the mountains down to the seaway, creating vast, rich environments like floodplains where Daspultosaurus thrived. This combination of rivers, floodplains, and coastlines supported a huge diversity of animals. Dinosaurs were everywhere, armored Edmontonia and Scolosaurus, horned Centrosaurus, Chasmosaurus, and Styracosaurus, duck-billed Corythosaurus, Gryposaurus, and Lambiosaurus, smaller predators like Albertinicus, Atrociraptor, and Struthiomimus, and many others. Beyond dinosaurs, the ecosystem teemed with over 8 different invertebrates, 20 types of fish including sharks, 20 mammals, 10 turtles, 5 lizards, and multiple marine reptiles like plesiosaurs, as well as crocodilians. While no conclusive proof has been found, there's a chance Daspultosaurus might have encountered animals from across the seaway too, as the distance between the two continents wasn't that great, allowing for some creatures to potentially end up in Appalachia. This island paradise, with its semi-tropical climate, wasn't always peaceful. Evidence shows multiple mass extinction events occurred periodically. Based on sediment analysis, paleontologists believe the biggest cause of these die-offs was extreme volcanic activity from the western side of the continent. Volcanic ash could blanket the entire island, causing massive forest fires and widespread death, though it also enriched the soil for future growth. Laramidia also experienced occasional droughts and sea level fluctuations. For those who don't believe Daspultosaurus evolved into T. rex, but instead went extinct, these disasters are thought to have been the potential cause of its demise. Since it was restricted solely to this island, a major catastrophe could have wiped it out, making way for a new family member to rise up and eventually take the throne, the infamous Tyrannosaurus rex.